Welcome to another episode of Adventure Sphere. Today I'll be covering Tina Marie Moody, a woman missing from Fort Worth, Texas. But first, become part of our family by subscribing to our channel, stay up to date by ringing the notification bell, and share our content to help spread awareness of how we can help recover missing loved ones free of charge. You never know who may see it, how hurt their heart may be if their family is incomplete, or how you may be a hero to them. Information shared in this episode is open sourced. The places I mention are shared with my blessing, so Tina can be reunited with her family, regardless who higher powers work through. The description box has our email address if you'd like to share insight on any cold case confidentially, know someone missing with a vehicle and would like them featured on our channel and searched for, or to donate equipment. The video of Google Earth has a measurement from a starting point theory, which is downtown Fort Worth, and goes out to possible search areas. We focus on bodies of water within five miles from home, their last cell phone ping, last known location, and sentimental sites where water is deep enough to hide a vehicle. If an area has been heavily searched, we may expand the search area, but please keep in mind that accidents tend to happen closer to home. Tina Marie Moody, then 32, is missing from Fort Worth, Texas. Her last date of contact was Thursday, March 5th, 1998. She uses the alias's uh, last names of Jackson, Moore, M-O-O-R-E, and White. I'm not sure if those were her married names, if she was adopted into a family. Just stuff to think about. Uh, when Tina was observed, she was driving a black four-door 1986 Oldsmobile Cutlass Supreme Sierra with Texas license plates WGC-83R. The Fort Worth the police, police Department is investigating and they can be reached at 817-392-4442. Tina's birth date is April 22nd, 1965. At the time of recording this video, she will be 57. The weather that day, I don't think, played a factor. It was cool. The warmest was overnight at 65 degrees around 3 a.m. Mid-afternoon, it was 55. And then by evening, it was 46 degrees. There was no precipitation that day. The roads were warm enough that black ice shouldn't have formed and become a factor. All of the databases say that foul play is possible, but they don't elaborate. So I wonder if it was just added to her file because they can't find her. She disappeared on a Thursday, so I'm wondering what hobby she had, what she did for work. Did she go to church, volunteer anywhere? Did she have any health issues? Was she? Did she have children? I don't know. Was she planning to see somebody? And then, yeah, I think the three best areas I could find to search are Lake Cuomo, Luther Lake, and White Lake. They have a road adjacent, or they have a lake adjacent to the road. Other possibilities would be Lake Arlington, Echo Lake. There's the Clear Fork and the West Fork of Trinity River. There's water just north of Quana Park, which I believe is this pond right here. There, I think that might be a boat ramp, so I'm curious about this place. Uh, Fosdick Lake, Lake Worth Bridge. It's about eight miles from downtown, but it's a big lake, so it's possible. The other big lakes in the area are Eagle Mountain Lake, Benbrook Lake, the Marine Creek Reservoir, and Grapevine Lake. If you'd like to help Tina's family find her, please subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and ring the notification bell to receive progress reports. If you have a few cents for a cup of coffee or two, please consider donating through one of the links in the description box. It'll go towards sonar equipment and other necessities to help find Tina and other missing loved ones. The holidays will soon be upon us, and although it hasn't been said to me directly yet, being reunited with their loved one is one of the greatest gifts these families can receive. 
One of our first 300 subscribers will receive a free gift card, so be sure to subscribe if you want an opportunity to win. Immediate donation links are in the description. Kickstarter and GoFundMe campaigns are coming soon. I'll let the video play out. It looks like another four minutes, but there's a lot of search areas. So if you see something that I missed, please let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and remember that we love you. Thank you.